Hi again, I'm Greg Rocco from MIT Lincoln Laboratory, and I'm filling in for Ben Petticourt, who uh, was planning to come, but uh, at the last minute, due to uh, circumstances beyond his control, uh, wasn't able to make it. Well, anyway, I'm going to be talking about the CMOS, CMOS family of standards, which, uh, which others have also referenced, uh, including my, my earlier slides. Um, so why converge? And converge here is talking about converging multiple um, applications uh, into a single chassis. Um, if you look at what the, the warfighter is stuck with now, the, the, on, on these, these army vehicles, there's a whole bunch of different systems. And you get these quick reaction things where they quickly go and add something. Well, the thing that they're adding is yet, in, yet another box. And they're trying to fit this stuff. You know, and each thing might have its own GPS because the things aren't integrated well. Um, and so the, the goal here is to, to, to converge things, get them into the same box, and where things like position information, time information can be shared, that those become common things that, that are shared, uh, as opposed to each, each system being stovepiped and having its, its own resources. So to do this, there's um, a layered approach in the standards. There's software standards. Um, we talked about functional, uh, uh, yeah, and then on the software standard size, is face, Face is one of the um, ones you can see there. Uh, there's a functional decomposition, which um, where RF resources, antennas, and things are separated out, uh, and more is handling that. And then we've got the hardware layer that is handled by uh, OpenVPX, and then a network layer. Um, and I've forgotten the name of the standard there. I can't quite read it. Um, but anyway, there's, there's standards there being used for the network layer. All right, so now an overview of each of these standards. If you look at um, the, the top half of this slide is on uh, Victory. So Victory is providing buses within the system. Um, yeah, and if, although we talk about buses, it's really a fabric. Um, but that's doing things like allowing the, sh the location information to be shared across multiple, uh, multiple functions. And then Victory has been extended using Mora so that Things like radio heads, uh, which is the uh, power amplifiers and antennas outside of a vehicle, can be shared among multiple applications uh, in, the, in the vehicle. And then we've got OpenVPX on the top half of this slide, which is doing the, uh, providing the, the, the chassis infrastructure backplane to allow plug-in modules to plug in uh, and interoperate uh, and, and share, share resources. And then down the bottom, there are multiple standards for software frameworks. Um, FACE is, is one of the big ones. There's also um, the Joint Tactical Network uh, for communications applications. Um, and, Re and Red Hawk are being used uh, for software frameworks. Uh, looking at a high level, high level architecture, uh, you can see a vehicle here. Um, the, the picture showing the radio, head, radio heads on the top. Uh, which are antennas and power amplifiers. And then you've got um, the Victory bus and other buses interconnecting them uh, to allow the resources to be shared. Uh, as was mentioned uh, by Mike, there are universal A kits to allow um, on the platforms to allow them to be integrated. Uh, this will help with um, making logistical tails smaller because the spares will be common. The unit costs can be reduced because the volumes are higher on each thing that's being purchased. It'll enable modernization, uh, refreshes more easily. Uh, and this is mentioning every five years. Uh, and then uh, this architecture can be applied to ground vehicles, air, sea, and subsurface platforms, you know, as well as the, uh, the, the ground vehicle that you, that, that's shown in the picture. Uh, there are lots of us that have been participating in this. Uh, there's Air Force, Nav Air, um, you know, and you, you can read the list there. And then this is some of this is being demonstrated in the lab. You can um, see the various boxes. This Victory Data Bus is being implemented more low latency bus for control of the RF. There's a CMOS chassis down in the lower left there. Uh, there's a more radio head there uh, and a tablet. All, uh, all being integrated. 
Here's a uh, blow up of the CMOS uh, reference chassis. So this is got a, has an open VPX backplane that you've seen uh, multiple pictures of uh, throughout uh, the sessions here. Uh, and then obviously the things like um, transceiver boards plugged in, single board computers, uh, Vita 62 power supplies, Ethernet switch and, and RF switch are all uh, integrated into this, uh, into this chassis. Here's a uh, picture of the Stryker, uh, Stryker vehicle where there's some uh, demonstrations being done, testing. And then we've got the summary. Uh, so again, the CMOS standards have been built upon other open standards. Uh, it's being included under the uh, SOSA uh, initiated with, um, with Army, Air Force, and Navy participation, uh, and then SOFA specifications. Um, we've got a list of web pointers, uh, which you'll have access to uh, once these slides are posted.